whenever like you're deciding to like to like leave like be away from your parents i think that the first thing to like think about is like your intentions and wanting to like leave because let me tell y'all okay so like how emil was saying like in our community we're like like everybody's christian i like when i left i was like dude my parents shelter they like sheltered us like so much like there's so much like you don't even know like there was so much i was like struggling to live life but um I think it's just to be like honest with yourself about like your intentions and your maturity and like in wanting to be away from your parents and doing it in a way that's like honorable and not just being like I just want to go and leave y'all so I can just like wild out and do whatever I want like no just um being honest in the fact of like um I have like good intentions of why I want to leave and I'm gonna act in a way that's like mature and honorable to like the way my parents raised me. That is the first thing. The second thing I think like once you leave is to find that community. Like <clears throat> God, like in the Bible it says it's good, it's wonderful for brothers to dwell among each other, right? So I think finding like proper community that like reflects your values, like the people who you're gonna keep like closest to you, right? So like I have friends who I spend like, we spend like six hours a day together. And like, that's like a lot of time. And like, who they are shape a little bit of who I am, right? So I think um, being intentional about community, cause like college is really the first time that you get to pick your friends. Like in high school, it's kind of like, it's the people who are in your classes, right? True. So like you go to school every day, you see the same people, and you're like, well, you're in my class, I see you every day, we might as well be friends. And then like in college, it's like, no, like if I want to see my friends, I have to like be willing to put in like the effort. I have to be willing to be like, hey, like you want to go hang out? Hey, like let's go do this, let's like go do that. So I think like finding like proper community, not just like people who you can have fun with, but people who are like, can pour into you people who will like call you out and be like I saw you doing that and you know you're not supposed to be out here like that like respect yourself knowing your values and convictions mm -hmm. so in whatever just like in the world in general whatever you look for you will find if you're looking to party you're gonna find parties if you're looking for money you're gonna like find money so like whatever your eyes your eyes and your mind is like trained on, that's what you're gonna find, all right? So if you're not looking for the good, you're not gonna find the good. If you're not trying to be positive, you're not gonna find the positive things. And so I think looking for the right things and um, looking for the right things and then you find the right things. And then we're gonna read a verse in um, Romans 1, 21 to 24. I'm gonna read it, because this is my favorite verse. Can you read that please? Romans 1, 21-24. For although they knew God, they neither glorified him as God nor gave thanks to him, but their thinking became futile, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became futile fools and exchanged the glory of the Lord of God for images made to look like a mortal, a mortal human being and birds with animals and reptiles. Therefore, God gave them over in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual immoral impurity for the degrading of their bodies to one another. They, they exchanged the truth of, about God for a lie and worshiped and served the things rather than the creator. So I think like something for me that I see a lot just like in college is like idolatry is easy to fall into and it's like an idol is anything that you put above God, right? It's anything that you think about more than God. It's anything that consumes your time more than God, right? So I think like in college, even the good things can become like idols. Like the pursuit of a degree in itself can become an idol, right? Mm -hmm. So I think um, just like going to college and having like that in mind and also having in mind like for the first time, like for me, it was like for like the like when I'm at home, I can't just tell my dad, no, I'm not gonna go to church. Like that don't fly. Like <laughs> you get up and you go to church. But like when I'm like at school, there's no one there to be like, oh, you have to go to church. Oh, you have to do that. Oh, you have to do that. Like if it's Sunday and I want to wake up at one, I wake up at one. You know. 
there's no one there to, to be like, do this, do that, do this. So I think it's like, it's important to like define what your relationship with God looks like, right? It's important to like, oh, I have to find a church and being like, what does, what kind of church should I go to? Because like churches teach different things, churches practice like worship differently. So thinking about like, what do I believe about God? What do I believe is like the proper way to worship? And what do I believe is the proper way to praise? So I think being in an environment where God isn't like a must or being in an environment where God isn't always like encouraged, I think it forces you to, um, it, for it tests your commitment to God and it tests like, it builds your convictions. So, like, being like, oh, every Sunday I'm going to go to church, and I'm going to, like, serve in church. It tests that, right? Because no one is telling me, hey, do this, or, like, hey, do that. And it also tests, like, um, my priorities. So, like, yes, I'm there to get an education, but it tests, like, does that, like, sometimes I felt like my education will come before God. So, like, how much time do I spend? Because God is the one who gave me that opportunity, right? God is the one who gave me the opportunity to, to be able to go to school and to have the money to pay for all that. And then to go to school and then to just, like, be like, nah, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. It kind of tests that. And it, it tests, um, like, it builds conviction. So something I've learned is, that I'm not my parents. Mm. So you kind of you learn like you're not <laughs> you're not your parents and I'm not going to always be like to kind of be like oh I was taught cuz I meet people who I'm like oh yeah like when I'm at home we do like this and then they're like we never did that like we never like did that growing up and I'm just like what there's like an option not to do that. <laughs> like I didn't know that was an option. We can pick that, you know. And then it tests like, like my convictions. It makes me like actually want to read and be like, do I believe this because someone else told me like, oh yeah, that's what I believe, or do I believe this because that's what I did my whole life, or like, why do I believe these things? So it forces. It forces you to build like your own convictions. It forces you to like ask questions, and it forces you to learn how to find like those answers to your questions. Does anybody have questions? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. So then I did like some practical things, like if you are in college or um, if you guys y'all about to graduate, y'all about to graduate. I would say um be honest and clear about your intentions and like and like really think about like why do I do I want to stay home why do I want to stay home do I want to leave why would I prefer to leave than to like stay home and um, I think look for like look for the right things so like um, your community, so when, once you go to college, your community is a reflection. The people who I spend the most time with, like the three people I spend the most time in, with, they're a reflection of what I believe, what I enjoy, and what I'll become. So like, if your three best friends are always partying and you go with them, it's because you enjoy like partying, right? So it's just like that. I would say, um, I, I would say, Acts like an adult to be treated like an adult. So I think, like with my parents, I'm like I'm a baby, but I'm not a baby. But I think just being like clear, like being honest with your parents, and um, like if you want them to respect you, you have to like treat them in a way that's like demanding of respect. So um, just being like sometimes you guys are not gonna like agree, like. Sometimes I want to do something, and then my parents are like, nah, fam, you're not going to do that. But it's just being like, um, this is why I want to do it, this is why I believe I want to do it, and like talking about it, and sometimes I don't get my way, and sometimes I do get my way. But being like open to talking, like to talking to them, because then that builds trust, and then that allows, because even though you're, like, you're on your own, you still have to pay respect to the fact that like, they sacrificed a lot for you, and like they raised you, and not 
just going to college and then like forgetting like everybody else, forgetting that you have a family, you have sisters, like, well, I have sisters, but like not forgetting that. Um, and then just like learning what your convictions are. I think like what Emil was saying, like just being like open-minded and learning like where like what you believe and where your lines are. Like like what he was saying exactly, like it's okay for me to talk to everybody, but I also draw a line in um, like who are the people that like I tell everything to? Who are the people who I'm like, I just like, I'm like, oh, you know, I tell like all my secrets to. Also learning how to say no to like some people. I think like in college, like you get so wrapped up in like, like if you go, like go and explore and look for opportunities and have fun, but like know what is good fun and what is bad fun and know how to be like, no, I can't do that. Or like, no, we're not gonna like hang out and like, you know, do that at my house. I'm done. Bye.